And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. We're talking Cal Baptist baseball. Now we got a couple players joining the show. First, we'll start with Luke Navigato as we go inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. And, and Luke, uh, man, you're a local guy. You're a Riverside Poly guy. We've talked about this before here on the show. But what's it like being able to play college baseball in your own backyard for a guy like Gary Adcock, who around these parts, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that because he's everyone knows Gary Adcock in the baseball world in the IE. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's great. I mean, growing up, I've always wanted to play college baseball and what a better chance to play here with a great coach, Gary Adcock. Um, and it's just awesome to finally be in a program that uh, really uh, strives on greatness. Yeah, speaking of greatness, consistently the Lancers are always one of the top teams in the country challenging for the Pac West Conference title. I mean, the expectations are really high. I'm looking around your dugout here um, at Cal Baptist University, and there's a lot of things that just about, you know, what it takes to be a winning team. Uh, mentally, what does it look like? What do you guys do on the field? What does it look like? I mean, how much of this is, you know, just all around everywhere you look about that winning culture and keeping your head right? Yeah, you said it. Uh, we strive for greatness here. You know, we, uh, we're supplied with the best coaches around, and uh, they prepare us uh, on the highest level to uh, be successful and uh, each and every year put a good good season together. Are we going to see you at the top of the, uh, see you at the top of the order again, second base? Like what what's your role going into this season once again? Um, again, whatever they whatever they needed me to do, uh, top of the order, uh, coming in late, uh, playing defense, and uh, just doing what I can to help uh, help this team win. Now, you guys are a preseason number six in the country uh, ranking. That's really high based on what you guys were able to do last year and the guys coming back. Do you like those expectations? Do you embrace those expectations in terms of being one of the best Division II teams in the entire country? Yeah, we, we love it here, you know, being ranked up high, but we just know that, uh, that it takes the work. we got to put in the work, and uh, we're supplied with uh, all the pieces to the puzzle, and it's just... Uh, it's up to us to see what we do with it, with the hard work we put in. Are you fired up about the uh, alumni game? The alumni. You, yeah. <laughs> I mean, see the old guys come back. <laughs> yeah, the alumni game is always fun. Seeing familiar faces, guys in the past. I mean, guys that uh, grinded here, put in the work here, and just coming back and having a good time all together. And they're still competing. You know, they still want to win out here and beat us. So it's real fun. The old guys think they can still play. Some of them can, I bet. <laughs> yeah, definitely some of them. I mean, we've had draft picks that come back and uh, just guys that, uh, like I said, just put in the work here and the competitors, you know, they still think they got it. Yeah, if we see Hofackett or uh, or Oaks on the mound, that might be a different story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. we got to bring our A game. <laughs> um, you guys open with Dominguez Hills, correct? Yes. What are you hoping to see out of that first series that first game right out of the gate because obviously again going back to those expectations of being the number six team in the entire country in division two i assume you guys want to you know go strong right out of the gate yeah exactly uh we're just we're excited to compete you know uh get into a different opponent you know we've been playing each other uh all fall all spring and we're just ready to get on the field and show everybody what we could actually do going back to uh let's say that west regional last year at apu you guys think about that much, or is that in the rearview mirror about, you know, this was a really good team last year, maybe is, maybe there's some unfinished business going into this season? We definitely think there's a unfinished business. That's stung, and uh, there's a lot of players that were on that team that are returning. And uh, all year we've been uh, trying to compete, you know, getting better each and every day to actually uh, win that regional and uh, go to the World Series this year. All right, that's CBU baseball standout Luke Navagato. Also join us here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports IE. Starting pitcher for the Lancers, Justin Montgomery, who's a Norco guy, right? Yep, uh, played in Norco. Uh, I was actually, I'm actually from Corona, but played in Norco High School. Gary Parcell, great coach. It's kind of like what we were talking with Luke about, the fact that local guys, I mean, Ryan over here, he's a local guy mm -hmm. too, being able to play such a high caliber of baseball in your own backyard. You get family and friends that still able to come out here? Oh yeah, all the time. I always have family and friends coming out of the games. Like it's, they, they love to do that. And like honestly, playing in the backyard, there's nothing better. Like you know, you're gonna put on a show like for people that like want to see a show. It's awesome. Now you guys were were so good last year, and again year in and year out for for Cal Baptist baseball. I mean, just look around. You can see all the you know the World Series appearances, postseason appearances. The the bar's always set really high. And the fact that this is your guys' final season 
in the PacWest Conference as a Division II member. Um, this is kind of the staple question we ask all the CBU teams, but uh, do you guys want to go out with a bang in Division II and really, you know, what, one last hurrah for CBU baseball here at, at the D2 level? Yeah, definitely. You, you really want to make the most of this last year. Um, it's the last year, like you said. We, we want to work our compete the best we can and just go as far as we can. Like, we know we have a shot. We have a shot at winning the um, what's it called this season this year. We can make it to the World Series, I think. Now, the fact that CBU's had so many great pitchers come through this program, uh, we listed a couple of them with Adam Hofackett and, uh, and Trevor Oaks, um, just to name two. You're, you're like kind of next in line, I guess you would say. What's it like being able to follow in the footsteps of some really great Cal Baptist pitchers that have come through this program? It's honestly an honor. Um, you see what those guys have done, and they're they're one of the they're the best of the best that have come from this area. And to be honored, like uh, be like named with them, like I don't know, like not there yet, but I got to keep competing and working. Like it's an honor to get there. And how about your Baseball America rating? I guess they came out with like the top 100 prospects, and and you found your name on the list. How, how did you get the news? How did you first hear about this? Um, I actually heard about it from my dad. Like he was going on Twitter and all that stuff, and I hadn't even heard about it or saw anything from it. Like he's like, "Hey, go check Twitter." I'm like, "That's yeah, pretty cool." <laughs> like, honestly, it's it's just it's an it's a recognition thing, but it still means you got to put in the work and you can't take anything for granted. You got to compete better than anyone, work harder than everyone else to show that you belong to be there. So, Justin, let's go back to the end of last season up into this point. There are things that you did. Uh, during the off season to improve your game on the mound, any things that you have been able to change going into this season? Um, I think one of the main things is fastball command. Like I've gotten a lot better at throwing a fastball for strikes and where I want to put it. And I think that's one of the uh, that'll be one of the keys for me this season is throwing fastballs where I want it and getting batters out early. All right, that's CBU pitcher Justin Montgomery here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports, i.e. 1350 AM. And the CBU baseball just continues here on the Inland Sports Show. And another local guy as well, Ryan Moda, formerly of Kaiser High School and RCC, um, over here at Cal Baptist now, uh, probably the big bat in the middle of Gary Adcock's lineup this season. And Ryan, uh, talk about the fact that you made that short trip from, from RCC to, to join the Lancers this season. Uh, how exciting and, and, and cool is this for you? Oh, I mean, it's it's a uh, it's outstanding, you know. It's a dream come true, a dream come true to stay in Riverside, you know. Stay close to home, uh, family, coaches, everyone. Uh, it means a lot to me, and just to show that uh, I just love staying in Riverside. Talk with Ryan Moda here again um, of Kaiser of RCC, and your first season with the Lancers. I mean, what, what's kind of your expectations as you join a program that's already been established and they do well year in and year out? I mean. As a new guy, you're just hoping to fit in and, and take this team maybe to the next level like we've been talking about, these postseason appearances. Yeah, I'm just trying to contribute the best uh, I can. Uh, whatever they need me to do, uh, it's really whether it's first base, pitch, uh, doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to come in here. Uh, it's our last year as D2, so I'm trying to go out with the bang like you said earlier. And um, I'm just trying to get a ring and trying to compete and win for this team and this school. You sound like a Little League guy because, you know, in Little League, they're like, hey, uh, the best player, he's going to pitch, and the next game he's going to play first base. And, you know, Little League, they play all over the place. But is that your mentality? Wherever Gary Adcock yeah. wants you to play, you'll be out on the field? Yeah, wherever he needs me, uh, if outfield, third base, wherever, uh, I'll go play. Uh, just got to come out here and grind and compete every day to just get better, really, and try to, try to just go out here and win. That's all, really. What's your approach at the plate? You're a big guy. You know, you can hit bombs. I mean, you're a great hitter. I mean, what's your approach when you step into the plate? Because a lot of guys, they'll swing for the fences every single swing. But, I mean, what's your approach? Uh, I just try to keep it simple. I try not to do too much. Uh, I try to let the pitcher do all the work, really. Um, I mean, the power is there. I don't really have to use it that much. Just make contact with the ball, keep it simple, keep it smooth, get my hands going, and keep my head steady. Now, we've got great weather here in Riverside. I mean, the, the sun's out. It feels like baseball season. How anxious are the Lancers to get on the field against Dominguez Hills and get this season going? Oh, yeah, we're less than 20 days away, I believe. Um, I mean, it's kicking in. You know, we're, we're out here grinding. We're competing. Um, we're trying to get better. And uh, each day is a, better, a new opportunity to, to just strive for that national championship and just try to accomplish what we want and what we've been harnessing on the whole fall and just working what we've been wanting to work for and just go out here and win a national title. 
What was that transition like going from RCC over to over to CBU? Like, did you obviously you probably left RCC what in May or what, mm -hmm. June or whenever, and, and then you got plugged in over here at, at CBU? You know, whether it was you know the weight room, the off season stuff that you guys do. What was what was kind of your off season? How did it look after you left RCC and came over here? Um, it was really me mental, uh, getting mentally ready to come Division Two. You know, it's a division up in the junior college, so. Uh, I just went to summer ball and I try to be more sharp and more disciplined at the plate. You know, coming in CBU, we have great pitching here, so I realized that I need to become better as a hitter overall, not just hit the hit for the fence. I needed to learn how to hit in situ situations that I've never been put in before. And knowing that uh, Gary Alcock's coach here, I knew he's a good pitching coach, so it was a, it was a, it was going to be a challenge for me. So I took that into summer ball and try to challenge myself actually to become better as a hitter overall and not just a one-minded hitter. We got Ryan Moda here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. Uh, Ryan, one more for you. Did, you played for the Palm Springs Power, didn't you, yeah. over the summer? Talk about the caliber of, of pitching that you saw out there and maybe how has that prepared you to be a, a better hitter this season for CBU? Oh, it definitely helped me. Um, you got a lot of guys um, from, whether they're bouncing back from independent league or even major leagues, they're like we play against all sorts of levels uh, in that league. Uh, we have guys from our own league playing against Point Loma, Cal Poly, wherever it's at. Um, we have a, a lot of pitching, so it's this conference is very well known in Palm Springs Power League. So it helped me a lot to see what to expect coming here. So I just took it in as just do your best and to compete, whether it's to win that bat or win the pitch. And I just try to compete my at my best ability. All right, well, CBU getting set to open up their season against Dominguez Hills in a couple of weeks. A big thanks to Ryan Moda, Justin Montgomery, and Luke Navigato here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports, i.e. 1350 a.m. When we come back, we'll talk more about the uh, upcoming Super Bowl next weekend and high school football talk. We'll be back. It's the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports, i.e. 1350 a.m.